We're eight games in. The Bills are six and two, and it looks like we have a good control over the AFC East. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believers Talk. My name is Joe, and welcome to this mid-season grade edition of Believers Talk, where we're going to talk about the Buffalo Bills offense and how it's looked over the first eight weeks. Again, guys, thank you for joining me on Believers Talk. My name is Joe. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, be sure to hit that subscribe button for continual Buffalo Bills, Buffalo Sabres. Remember, the Buffalo Bulls just started winning their first game update you want make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and leave a comment if you had to grade this buffalo bills offense after eight weeks how would you grade them not only grade this team through the first eight weeks also you want to leave a comment still doing that don bb autographed jersey giveaway so make sure in the comment section you put bb b-e-e-b-e for your chance to enter and win an autographed don bb jersey again i want to thank all of you for making this channel the success it has been and the way to keep doing that is continuing to like these videos continue to comment and continue to subscribe if you haven't already so we're going to talk about this offense and if you recall after week four we had Clayton from Colfer Report come on talk about this offense did a great job breaking it down grading this offense and we're gonna do the same thing here so what's really changed from week five to now right because the first four weeks this offense was looking pretty darn impressive, right? You talk about Josh Allen in the MVP d discussion. You talk about these wide receivers playing really well. Stephon Diggs, for a period of time, was the best wide receiver in the league statistically. Uh, he's still in the top five statistically, so he's still looking good. Well, remember, in these past four weeks, we've had that game against the Jets. We did not punt a single time in that game. Yay offense, but we did not get in the end zone a single time in that game either. Beating the Jets 18-10, to 10, not exactly what you want, Wanted, but at the same time, you have to be happy with the way the offense moved the ball a little bit downfield. Take a look at this past weekend. You played the New England Patriots. Always tough to beat a division rival. Scored 24 points. Went 3 for 4 inside the red zone. I thought the offense looked pretty good for most of the game. So, I mean, this offense is definitely coming around compared to where it was after our two losses against Tennessee and Kansas City where it just looked like we were having a hard time getting things going. And, uh, it seems like we're moving along in the right direction. I think tomorrow, the game against Seattle. And again, guys, remember, you can watch that game uh, or at least get live player play and reaction right here on Believer's Talk. So if you can't watch the game or if you want to hang out with me during the game, make sure you uh, stop by 12.30 Eastern time. I start, go right into kickoff, and then we do live player play and reaction. Always have a good time. So make sure to join me for that. But again... I think the game against Seattle is going to prove a lot. Now, the Seattle defense might not be the best in the world, especially the secondary, uh, but I feel like Josh Allen needs to be able to show that he can beat that zone offense, or zone defense, I should say, because that's the defense he seems to be struggling against the most. So uh, when you talk about Josh Allen, still on a pretty good pace. Obviously, still his best season as a Buffalo Bill. I'm not going to say he's at MVP level anymore, nothing like that, but I feel like he's doing a pretty good job leading this offense. Still needs to... Make make sure he holds on to that ball, right? He's had a few fumbles over the past four weeks. He's thrown an interception in every single game uh, in the past four weeks. So again, those things need to stop. Obviously, turnovers are bad in this league. So you want to make sure you get as minimal of them as possible. But again, you, you look at the game against the Jets, moved the ball well, unable to get any, any, any um, touchdowns, right? So you look at the red zone percentage, not that good. You look at these wide receivers, right? Gabe Davis had a touchdown drop just last week. Uh, to make a sell for a field goal, which scared a lot of Bills fans. I'll tell you that definitely scared me. Uh, but there's a lot of good things to like about this wide receiving core. Now you have John Brown, who's been injured on and off the field. We know that this offense looks different when John Brown is on the field compared to when he's not on the field. And that's why I think John Brown, kind of like uh, in the defensive video, you talk about Matt Milano a little bit, and I'll get that posted as well here in a little bit today. Uh, but John Brown has to be probably my, my top offensive guy as far as MVP because cause as far as importance of being on the field. Now when you talk about statistically I think you have to look at Stefan Diggs and say that trade was definitely worth every penny uh, right now because man he's looked really good. Like I said still a top five wide receiver in the league statistically last week we finally got the running game going. I feel like a lot of Bills fans very upset with how Dable and others were utilizing or lack of utilization of the run game. You talk about Devin Singletary we got Zach Moss back. Zach Moss was in Injured for a little bit of time. Uh, so you have those two guys mainly running the uh, carrying the load. But you also have Josh Allen back there who can create with his legs. Now, we've all said at one point or another that we wish they wouldn't run Josh Allen as much. But 
At the same time, you look at this past Sunday against the New England Patriots, you had 14 carries by Devin Singletary, 14 by Zach Moss, and 10 by Josh Allen, 190 yards rushing offense. The Bills need to keep doing that. If the Bills want to have continuous success in this league this season, they're going to have to run the football. And I think that was a great sign against New England that we ran the ball for 190 yards. So if you look, if you look at this offense, again, you got like a running back situation. I know some people are saying that, oh, Zach Moss should be starting over Devin Singletary. Listen, Devin Singletary did a great job, not just this past week. I feel like he's done a pretty decent job most of this season. He's had had games. I think he had one game where he averaged 2.6 yards per carry. Obviously, he needs to do better. But if everyone's upset about this offensive line, it's hard to then blame the running backs as well for, for the inconsistencies in the running game. This offensive line struggled mightily at times. I know a lot of fans were upset with the uh, with the release of Quinton Spain. I know a lot of people thought that he was our best offensive lineman, so they were really upset to see him go. Uh, but we seem to have gotten a little bit better last week with Feliciano come back. Obviously, Mitch Morris with his concussion, he will not be playing this weekend. That has to be a serious thing to consider moving forward if you're a Buffalo Bills fan. However, I thought John Feliciano did an okay job, if not better than okay, at filling in at center last week. Glad that we got John Feliciano back when we did, because if we, if we lose Mitch Morris without Feliciano, be putting Ryan Bates in at center. And I don't feel like Ryan Bates did a terrible job, but at the same time, I like John Feliciano there. Obviously, Cody Ford still dealing with an injury as well. So our offensive line, a little banged up, but still not playing well, right? I feel like this offensive line's done a lot better against uh, giving Josh giving Josh Allen a pocket to throw the ball pass protecting than they have with run blocking. I don't know if you guys agree. Again, you can let me know in the comment section, but I feel like the run blocking is suspect at best, and I feel like the Buffalo Bills need to improve upon that. I feel like the Buffalo Bills uh, offensive line needs to improve on that run because because when it comes to December when it comes to late November maybe I don't know right now it's gorgeous and we're in November uh, but when it comes to the cold months you're gonna have to be able to run the ball have some tough opponents coming up Seattle Arizona Pittsburgh San Fran might not be as tough anymore but we're still traveling to San Fran you got New England still so you still got some tough opponents left in this uh, on this season now's the time to prove that you are a playoff team that you can beat other other playoff teams and hopefully make make a move when it comes to the AFC playoff picture. So when I'm talking about a grade for this for this Buffalo Bills offense, I'm looking in the B to B minus range. I mean, I think they're better than average. I think we can all agree that this offense is better than average. So I'm going to give him above a C. I want to see more things out of Gabe Davis. I want to see him become a potential number two wide receiver. So that way, you know, we only have John Brown for what, one more year after this year. When John Brown's gone, we don't have to worry about possibly replacing him. We got our replacement through the draft. And I, I think Gabe Davis can be that guy. Again, a big drop last week so we have to worry about that uh, but at the same time I feel like he's doing a pretty good job at that number four wide receiver position Cole Beasley is still doing well if you look at our wide receivers at a, as a whole when fully healthy you have to give them an A right you have to give the four guys that are our main wide receivers an A uh, you talk about Stefan Diggs is an A currently as is again one of the top wide receivers statistically in the league uh, you look at the running backs I still give the running backs maybe a B minus you know I still think they're a good solid duo back there. It's this offensive line that's really uh, causing them to struggle. This offensive line, I'm going to have to give a C to uh, because I'm just not sure what to expect. And then Josh Allen, again, playing up uh, better than he has the previous two years. I think he's proven enough to at least warrant himself getting that fifth-year option in the offseason. But I would still like to see more from him. I still want to see more consistency out of that position. Again, still having a hard time reading that zone defense. Hopefully that's something that improves here in the near future. We would love to see him do better there. So again, I'm giving this team on offense over eight weeks, midway through the year, a B-. minus. I think they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, I want to see a little bit more out of Josh Allen a little bit more out of this running game, a little bit more out of our offensive line. I like our receivers as they are. Uh, but here we are going into the second half of the season. And the way our defense is playing, our offense might have to carry our defense uh, if things continue the way they are. Be giving you all three grades today. I did the offense now. I have a special guest for that defensive breakdown. So make sure you uh, stay on the lookout for that. And then we'll do special teams as well. So again, thank you guys for joining me on this edition of Believer's Talk. Again, don't forget BB in the comments section b-e-e-b-e -E -E, that will give you a chance to win that don bb signed buffalo bills jersey so make sure you enter that contest again if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button like this video and again leave a comment how would you grade this offense after eight weeks and 
what are your biggest concerns heading into the next half of the 2020 NFL season. Again, thank you guys for joining me on this edition of Believers Talk. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Again, all three grade videos coming out today, so make sure you're on the lookout. I'll talk to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.